the motive of gang stalkers. In this video, I am going to discuss the nature of this phenomenon. I don't believe it is controlled by the government, although we already know that governments do track us through electronic devices. They can tap into all of your camera, microphone and audio devices, which includes your smart televisions, mobile phones, laptop computers and anything else with camera, microphone or audio capabilities. They can also track you through GPS, read your emails, text messages, social media and listen to your phone calls. It's not just the government who are able to do this. Large companies such as Google, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and many others also have the ability to do this. And before you call me crazy or paranoid, read the terms and conditions. You have already agreed to this. Now that you have this knowledge and awareness, you might notice after you have sent a message or had a phone call about a certain topic, suddenly advertisements on Facebook or videos on YouTube are showing up that relate to the topic you spoke about in your message or phone call. It might seem like a coincidence at first, but over time you will realize that all of your electronic devices are being tracked. Large companies like Google can track your exact location with their specific times, and they can even tell who you are with, since your family or friends will be tracked by Google too. But enough about that, this video is about gang stalking. Within certain communities, certain individuals will group together to prey on a target. You have heard of bullying in schools, where other children will join in because they don't want to be victimized too. It's the same thing, just outside of the playground. The gang stalkers are narcissists or have cluster B personality disorders. They have the emotional development and maturity of toddlers. Life is a game to them and the world is their playground. Gang stalking can begin with a smear campaign where fly monkeys are enforced. For those who don't know, smear campaign and fly monkeys are psychology terms. I have done a video on both of these. Please check out the fly monkeys and the smear campaign. I don't believe that gang stalking is associated with the government. In fact, I think the government is the only group that could help these people. But there are groups of people who do gang stalk and try to control an empowered individual's life. These groups of people must be narcissistic or have a cluster B personality disorder to have the capabilities to, to gang stalk. What drives them to do this is their own hate, anger, envy, insecurities and inferiority complex. They have an obsessive desire to control certain individu individuals and isolate them from the rest of the world. It gives them the narcissistic supply, a feeling of attention, validation, power and control. The narcissist or disordered personalities feel worthless, alone and miserable. Joining these gang stalking groups is their way of managing their loneliness. It makes them feel as though they are a part of something and they have a purpose. It's exciting for them and it gives them something to do in their otherwise boring and miserable lives. 
gang stalking can make you paranoid and hypervigilant. I believe that there may be an element of this in some cases. But the root cause of their paranoia and hypervigilance is that they are actually being stalked. The sick thing about it is that once these sadistic emotional predators catch on to your paranoia and hypervigilance, they will then play on it. They will use it to further re-engineer and reconstruct your mental composition. All the while keeping you guessing whether you are actually targeted or if it's all in your head. You must recognize the difference between your paranoia and what is actually happening to you. They are trying to destroy your self-esteem, self-worth, self-belief and self-respect because they have none and they are envious of you. You could have been paranoid or hypervigilant in the beginning. But at some point you realize that something was not right. Then narcissists and people with cluster B personality disorders became aware of this. This is what can attract these predators to play these sick and twisted games with you. They realize that you have become cautious and hypervigilant. So they group together to toy with your mind. It was like he knew what he was supposed to do. Then he did the exact opposite. While you could never imagine yourself doing something like this, believe me, there are sick and twisted people like, like, like this out there. They get off on your confusion and disorientation. Gang stalkers can be triggered by people who have mental illnesses or are vulnerable. They are easy to play with, distort and confuse. And no one will ever believe a word they say. Gang stalkers need someone who is easy to isolate and control. Dr. Ross Rosenberg has done a video which compares narcissists to child molesters. And I believe that this resonates very well with what I have just described here. What is the perfect prey or target for the gang stalkers? Someone who has good qualities, but also a vulnerability or mental illness. Their good qualities could be their looks, money, a big house, high self-esteem, self-worth or self-belief. When these qualities are paired with a vulnerability or mental illness, it creates the perfect prey for these predators. Their motive is to sabotage all of your good qualities and isolate you. And they have a way in through your vulnerability or mental illness. But what keeps them coming back is your good qualities. It drives them to keep doing what they do. Because your good qualities are a reminder of everything they are not. Everything they wish they could be. So they will continue to target you through your vulnerability or illness. Their goal is to tear down anything and everything that ever made them reflect on what they don't have. Driven by hate, anger and envy, it becomes their newfound purpose in life. But it is not benefiting them in any way. They are actually self-harming and destroying themselves. 
by continuously consuming the very thing they hate. They can't stand you and your good qualities. It makes them sick. It makes them want to harm you. But they keep coming back. They think they are driving you insane. But as long as you maintain your positive energy and assure yourself, it will affect them far more than it ever affects you. Do not give them any attention or validation. Do not let them have power or control over you. Let them waste their own energy and their own lives. And as time goes by, you will notice a change in them. They are no longer the people they used to be. Their hate, anger, and envy of you has driven them to become everything they try to prevent. Everything they thought you were. And now they are stuck in this endless loop, trying to get your attention, trying to get you to validate them, trying to prove their self-worth, trying to control you. But remember that you have the power. You hold the attention and validation that they are looking for. So put yourself in place. Let them watch. Let them stalk you. Let them chase after the one thing they will never have.